Want to know how to do the new Sea of Thieves Adventures Shrouded Islands and make sure you can get all of the combinations done before it's too late? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Hippo TC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. If you like this guide video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and hell, subscribe while you're at it. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the video. To kickstart the adventure, all you gotta do is talk to Lady Duke or Lorena at any of the Outpost Taverns. There, she's gonna tell you a tale about how you need to go check out Golden Sands about how a shroud is overtaking it. So once you kind of start this adventure off, you're going to set sail towards Golden Sands. Upon arriving at Golden Sands, head to the tavern, walk inside, and to the right, you're going to see a compass. You're gonna need to pick this up to start the next part of the adventure. This new fancy schmancy compass is going to lead you and your crew over to Crescent Isle, and there you are going to find Belle. After talking to Belle, she is going to set you on another adventure, another voyage to Shipwreck Bay. But first, you must get this flame from uh, from this beacon here. So pick up the Flame of Fate or whatever it's called and go back to your ship. Set sail and the island that you're going to be looking for next is going to be Shipwreck Bay. Now, once you arrive at Shipwreck Bay, there's going to be eight lanterns that you need to light with the Flame of Fate. There's going to be these like Reaper looking phantoms that are going to be pointing you in the direction that you need to go. Just know that there's eight that you have to light. So just look around, light them. Each lantern uh, that's lit will kind of do this lore story for you. So it's kind of cool. So make sure to light it and then look for kind of what the what it lights and, and the part of the story that it kind of leads you on with this adventure. Anyways, they are super easy to find. You just walk around, find the lantern and light it. I will show you where each of them are. So go ahead and just watch this next little bit and you'll see the lore section and the the location of each of the lanterns. After lighting all of the eight lanterns, the last thing that you are going to set ablaze is this hanging cage right here. And this is where you're going to fight a few waves of these Reaper phantoms. It takes a little bit to fight them. And at the very end, you're gonna fight the Soul Flame Captain. Now, I do want to make a mention here throughout this encounter after each lantern's lit and through this fight, there is a chance that one of the phantoms are going to drop the rune that you need to turn into Bell to complete the full adventure. Now, it's not a guaranteed drop, so every phantom you kill, make sure to look for the rune that they might drop. 
and if you do find it take that over to bell to turn it in now in some instances you might have to redo this adventure or at least this section to get the rune if you have to do that it's not the end of the world but just kind of be on the lookout for that maybe you'll get lucky on your first playthrough Now, after you defeat the Soul Flame Captain, you are going to get a map showing a location for a dig for the Hex Skull or whatever that thing is that you need to go find. So it'll show you an island. Go to that island, find the dig spot, dig it up, and you're going to take that back to Bell. And that will kind of complete this adventure. You do need to make sure that in the dialogue when talking to Bell, you select the complete adventure. I accidentally clicked continue adventure and it kind of restarted the whole thing. So make sure to select complete adventure to finish it out. I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more of this type of content on this channel and if you hit the notification bell you'll never miss a new video